This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Hamilton County is resuming evictions related to COVID-19 troubles. This goes against a federal and state ban on evictions in place until at least June. Hamilton County Municipal Court presiding and administrative judge Heather Russell says she has no choice. She says a federal court who over, which oversees our district decided to lift the eviction ban. This is in a lawsuit between landlords in Tennessee and the Centers for Disease Control. The CDC is appealing that court's decision, but in the meantime, the judge argues the evictions must resume. And attorneys who help tenants in these cases are criticizing her for that. What they need to do is continue to honor the CDC order. We have $60 million for rental assistance in Hamilton County. All we need is some time to get that money to the landlords who desperately need it. We understand there's a major issue here, but we can preserve tenants in their homes and make landlords whole. And the court's decision is gonna make that extremely difficult. The, a group of city and county leaders plus tenant advocates showed up on the courthouse steps with court clerk and mayoral candidate Aftab Pirval to ask the court to reconsider. Judge Russell says until the District Court of Appeals makes a decision on the Tennessee case, tenants will have to appeal evictions to protect themselves. South of the river, all Kentucky residents will be able to get their first dose starting Monday. Governor Andy Bashir says he pushed up the rollout one week to try to combat a slight rise in cases. Kentucky also just opened up its largest regional vaccination site. It is at Cardinal Stadium in Louisville. Once you are fully vaccinated, the CDC says it is safe for you to travel. The agency says travelers with both the doses are at a low risk of catching the disease. They don't need to get a COVID test before traveling and don't need to quarantine upon return. The CDC says it's still urging people to avoid non-essential travel, generally speaking. The new guidance comes amid an uptick in air travel. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Okay, Tanya, as we look at things, it's another cold night for the tri-state. A freeze warning is out because we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s in the morning. As you look at your Saturday, though, plenty of sunshine and temperatures rising over today. I've got a temperature of 60 degrees in the afternoon Saturday. We may see a few clouds on Sunday for Easter, but I think overall we're looking at a pretty nice day. We're looking at temperatures moving into the mid to even upper 60s as highs around the tri-state. And temperatures warm from there going into next week. I have them moving into the 70s after Sunday. Well, it looks like we've got a couple of slight chances for some rain Tuesday, Wednesday. The next full chance for some rain and storms looks to be Thursday in the Tri-State.